Hello boys and girls. Darren here again from Creative Coatings in Hobart, Tasmania with another video update. I haven't done one for quite some time. So I thought I'd talk about the, the subject of dipping in cold water. Well, not cold water per se, but the water, you know, tap temperature as it comes out of the wall. Um, in Tasmania that can vary quite a bit. In the summertime it'll come out to 20 degrees Celsius ready to go in the winter time middle of winter it might only get to six degrees coming out of the tap it's pretty cold however my point being you can dip in that water that's six degrees um, before I go any further let me apologize I don't have anyone to hold the camera today so I'm doing it by myself so I have to put up with my awesome camera work and Elton John on the radio how cool um, so where was I yes the point being you can dip in cooler temperatures and save yourself a fortune trying to keep your tank warm. Now I've been doing this for quite some time. Um, when I started out like everybody else, I looked in you know, 25 degrees, 60 seconds soak time, all that sort of thing. Now I understand why people say that. It's important when you're learning to have some guidelines to start with and remove inconsistencies. And um, if you are struggling with problems, and you've got an inconsistent set of, of circumstances, it's gonna take you forever to figure out what's going on. So it is important if you're just learning, you know, put it on the water at 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, whatever you're happy with, soak it for 60 seconds and dip and you'll have a consistent set of circumstances so that if you have a problem, you can figure out what's actually causing it. However, as time goes by and you gain some more experience, you will realize something. That is, that no matter what temperature water is that touches that film, it makes it go sticky and tacky and it absorbs that water. The temperature of it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. The film is not waterproof. So as soon as you put in water of any temperature, it begins to absorb that water. That's the whole way this process works. The film takes on water, liquefies, hit it with your activator, white man's magic happens, and um, yeah, away we go. The rest is history. So... That being the fact, um, you could actually put this film on water of any temperature, but what you need to be able to do is read the film so that you know when to activate it. Now that's where the trick is. Once again, that's not difficult. It comes with time and a little bit of experience and watching what you're doing. Don't just put it on the, the film on the water, wait 66 minutes and activate it. That'll work, but it, what, what I encourage you to do is watch the film, see what's happening, and you'll be able to see when it's ready to be activated. Um, so I'm going to do that now. We'll dip a speed shape just to show you that it works and how it works. And um, so here's my um, temperatures. Currently it's sitting at 17 degrees, 17.8 degrees Celsius. That is 63 degrees Fahrenheit for you, uh, our American friends. Whenever I put these videos up on um, YouTube, I always get reminders from America that don't understand what I'm talking about when it comes to temperatures and some of our brand names on products going to be a little bit hard to chase down so I'm sorry about that. So, but what we're going to do, I'm going to use a little bit of um, uh, some snakeskin film here I've got here and um, we'll put it in the water and I'll, we'll watch it and I'll just show you what's happening. I'm sure as I explain to you what's happening you'll understand and you, know, you can go off and maybe begin dipping with colder water. Um, the whole point of the process being to save money on, temp on warming your tank up, to save a little bit of time, um, all those sorts of things. I heat my water in winter because it's freezing and I don't want to put my hands in freezing cold water. That's the only reason I do it. In the summer, just coming out of the tap. But in the winter, I only heat to 15 degrees. I'm not heating to 30 degrees. Now you can imagine the cost saving of saving like 15 degrees of, of temperature in your tank. It's a lot. It is a lot. Electricity is expensive. And, um, you know, we're trying to make money here. It's not a hobby for me, it's, it's part of my business, it's important I make money. So, having said that, we'll put some uh, snakeskin film on the water with one hand, it's bound to be a disaster. If you don't know, you know, do the lick test, lick your fingers, stick them together. I'm sure you know this is basic. The side that sticks is the side that goes on the water. So we're going to put this on the water with one hand. Let me just show you, this is actually a little trick. You can use this when you've got a really big piece of film 
and um, you're trying to get it on the water by yourself. If you just slide it up over there to your tank, obviously your tank's got to be dry. If you just slide it into the water, it'll drop on there nicely. Now it's pretty cool here today, so the, the film is quite sort of crisp. Look at that air bubble. That's awesome. Never had one that big before. Now, I'm going to just let so I'm not going to take all the air out of it at the moment purposely. I'm just going to show you what will happen. Oh, shut up. A little bit of tape. I like to make a, a dam out of tape. The reason I like that is because if I need to push my hands into here with a larger item, you can push straight to the tape and the tape will seat with it and it makes it a little easier in some circumstances. Now you can see what's happening here is the film is taking on water, it's starting to absorb water and it's sucking it in. So what will happen is your air bubbles become more obvious and it becomes easier to see them and easier to chase them out. You see that bubble there? You see there's a high point, that's not in the water yet so that needs to go on. So we're just going to gently push that to the outside. Now, you can see what's actually, already what's actually starting to happen is the water, the film is starting to relax. It's absorbing water. It's getting very soft. And it's starting to relax. Now, clearly, like anything, it's going to get to a point where um, it can't absorb any more water. I mean, like it's, there's a finite amount of water that's going to fit within the confines of that film. So that's going to happen whether the water's warm or cold. The only thing is it can sometimes take a little longer with the colder water. And by a little longer, I'm not talking about minutes. I've heard people say, oh, I'll even sit four minutes, five minutes. You really, really don't need to do that. I'm talking like 30 seconds. I usually, you know, 60 to 90 seconds and it's and it's done. But you'll notice I haven't used a um, timer at all. Didn't bother about it because... The whole point of this exercise is to learn how to read your film so that you can throw your time away forever. Oh boy, I'm sure I've said a few people saying that. And um, activate when the film is ready. Now I'm looking at this, I hope you can see it. It's looking pretty flat. It's absorbed water, the film's tightened up, it's relaxed again, and it's very soft. And in fact, if I get in the corner and push my finger, I reckon it'll probably go straight through. Not yet. Yeah, there you go. So it's breaking the film. So, to me, that is now ready to receive activator. Now, I'm not panicking here. I'm not rushing. Because as far as I'm concerned, you can't over-soak the film. Um, I have left the film on the water for two hours and come back and activated it. And I did it just as an experiment to see what would happen. And it activates perfectly. The reason being is it absorbs 100% of the water it's going to absorb. And then it stops. It just sits there. So, you know, there's a lot of people giving a lot of advice about not leaving it too long and all that kind of thing. Personally, I've not found it to be an issue. So, I'm going to activate this film now and I'm going to use my own homebrew activator. You know, if everybody says it doesn't work, watch this. Now, let's watch on the edge here. The film's expanding, it's moving out, it's activated. And I'm going to dip this little speed shape. And to my eyes, that's come out pretty well perfect. So, water's cold, look at that. Perfectly liquid. And I didn't soak that for more than about 90 seconds. In fact, you're more than welcome to go back and have a look and time it. I've overactivated the film a little bit, if anything. But also the base coat wasn't dry, I just sprayed it on there, so, uh, you know. But anyway, that's how it works. So I encourage you to experiment and have a bit of a go, because I tell you what, if you are facing huge electricity costs, uh, keeping your large volumes of water warm, uh, you may find that you can make some savings that you don't actually have to do that. And um, 
you'll get a great result. It'll work just fine. In fact, I find with some items with tricky shapes, it's actually a little easier to dip the water. It follows the contours easier or something. There's something going on that I don't understand, but it, it, I find it a little easier. But I'll dip like that all day long at that temperature with no dramas whatsoever. Um, and, um, you know, give it a go. Hopefully it helps you as well. Anyway, until next time, if anybody's got any subjects they want to cover, um, I don't make videos that I've seen other people make. I don't see the point of that. That's why I don't put them up all the time. I only cover things that I think haven't been covered. There's plenty of guys on the internet showing you how to do all the common things. Um, my good friend from America, Jim Urbano, has covered 99% of things. I tend to do things a little differently, you know, outside the square. That's my thing. And I know... I upset a lot of the old school people at the same time while doing that but you know i'm not suggesting for a second that you should throw away your um your water heaters that you shouldn't heat water at all if it works for you and you're happy with the cost and everything that's great i'm all about helping people who don't have a lot of money or time and um, you know, sometimes this can be handy if you're in a hurry and um, people think they've got to sit there wait for 24 hours for their tank to warm up or whatever it takes them uh, you don't have to you can do this at i've done it at five degrees and it works fine and only soaking for 90 seconds. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helps clear some of that up for you and um, you've learned something. Um, if not, oh well, <laughs> back to the tech for me. Anyway, Darren here from Creative Coatings in Hobart. If you want anything done, hit me up. If you have any questions, don't be shy. I'm on Facebook. Happy to help out if I can. Cheers. See you next time.